children good morning all of you today for class 12 ic cbc and west bengal board derivative of composite function part 2 that means you have already got one lesson on composite function now please pay your attention on the board sums given from ml agarwal's book you will get in exercise in your book and here also it is written clearly Differentiate the following function with respect to x. This is the sum. This is the expression. After writing sine root x plus cos square root x. Let this is the process you have you have already followed and again you try to follow. Let y equal to sine root x plus cos square root x. Differentiate with respect to x. We get dy by dx sine root x differentiation of sine x that is cos x and here is root x so root x composite function this is the root x this is why by chain rule we have to differentiate root x again this is why dy dx root x plus cos square root x that is in place of cos square root x we may consider x x square x x square if you differentiate x square that is 2x that is 2 cos root x and again we have to differentiate by applying chain rule cos root x now cos root x then root x that means x to the power half half p to x to the power half minus 1 by applying the formula that is x to the power n n into x to the power n minus 1 by applying that formula here cos root x and differentiation of cos x that is minus sine minus sine x in place of x here is root x so root x and root x we have to again differentiate by chain rule this is why d by dx root x now simplify that is cos root x and this is x to the power minus half, half minus 1, that is minus half. Minus half, when it will come denominator, then it will be plus, minus it will be plus. And x to the power half, that is root x. So this we may write 1 by 2 root x. And here 2 cos root x plus minus. That is plus minus that that will be minus plus minus minus and sine root x cos root x sine root x and differentiation of root x that is half the power of x here that is x to the power half that is half into x to the power n minus 1 that is half minus 1 by applying the formula x to the power n that formula known to you very well that is x to the power n equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 that formula by that formula we are getting this then differentiation finished we have to simplify cos root x and this is 1 by 2 root x here if you notice then easily you will understand this is in the frame of formula of multiple angle that is 2 cos x sin 2 cos x sin x or 2 sin x cos x in place of x that is root x so we may write sin 2x and it is by simplifying we are getting 1 by 2 root x then since sin 2x equal to 2 sin x cos x then we may take carbon 1 by 2 root x after taking carbon it is coming cos root x minus sin 2 root x this is the answer very simple Ishan, you have to follow the step attentively. Subo, you may think very, it is easy to you, but you have to follow. You have to practice this type of sum. Then you will feel more easy. Just know, you must pay full attention on this sum. The difference to the following function with respect and others also you must follow. Not only just know. After writing the sum, this expression directly we may apply the uv rule instead of applying uv rule first i want to simplify after simplification simplest form then we will apply the formula or 
this is where opposite sign of this that is minus the numerator and denominator multiply that is root over x square plus 1 plus root over x square minus 1 numerator and denominator we are we are multiplying the opposite sign of this expression by multiplying we are getting this expression here a plus b into a plus b that is a plus b whole square and here a minus b into a plus b a plus b into a minus b Ishan, a plus b into a minus b yes a square minus b square so a square minus b square so from the formula here a plus b whole square that is also known to you very well a square plus b square plus 2 ab a square plus b square plus 2 ab and here root n square will be eliminated then it will be x square plus 1 here is minus so minus minus it will be plus so x square plus 1 now root n square will be eliminated then it will be x square plus 1 it will be x square minus 1 and a plus b into a minus b again that is a square minus b square in place of a square a, here is in a plus b into a minus b in place of a it is x square so x square whole square so it will be x to the power 4 minus 1 square 1 1 square will be the remain same so this is why we may write 1 square or 1 uh, as you like now we have to simplify this that is x square plus x square 2 x square plus 1 minus 1 that will be cancelled then it will remain as it is and now we may take common from uh, 2 from this after taking common then 2 2 will be cancelled finally it is coming x square plus root over x to the power 4 minus 1 this is the simplest form now let y equal to this now differentiating with respect to x we get now we are differentiating this that is dy by dx the differentiation of x square that is 2x and this is x to the power 4 minus 1 whole to the power half whole to the power half that is x to the power n in place of x to the power n here is half so half into x into n to the power minus 1 in place of n half so minus 1 and by chain rule x to the power 4 minus 1 again we have to differentiate so it, we have to write d by dx into x to the power 4 minus 1 then we have to simplify more and we have to differentiate this part also 2x and uh, this is 2 and half minus 1 that is minus half minus half when it will come in denominator then it will be plus and root x to the power half that is root x so here x to the power 4 minus 1 whole to the power half that we may write root over x to the power 4 minus 1 and here differentiation of 4 uh, x to the power 4 that is 4x cube and differentiation of 1 constant number that is 0 you may write or may not then just we have to simplify these two and this 4 will be cancelled then it will be 2x plus 2x cube by root over x to the power 4 minus 1 Shubo, you are thinking very simple yes you are thinking rightly very simple and others also if you follow the step attentively then easily you will understand really this chapter is very simple okay thank you everybody